Good morning, this is Manash Patel with IMTF Trade. Today is May 7, 2019. Uh, we're going to give you a quick market update for a couple of reasons. One, this is May. A lot of people believe in the theory of selling May and go away, which really doesn't work anymore. They used to, but not anymore, especially with the age of computers and people starting to trade pretty much throughout the uh, summer months and so forth. Uh, and second, uh, markets have pretty much reached the all-time high and the last couple of days they've kind of done a pullback and a lot of people are panicking thinking that this bullish run is over and that's one of the reasons why we're doing this market update. Uh, before we begin, here's our normal disclaimer to state this is for education news only. We're not soliciting your buyer selling a particular instrument. If you do so, you're doing it at your own risk. All the information is owned by EII Capital Group. It cannot be copied or distributed without our written permission. We are broker neutral, so here's all the information here. Uh, so let's begin by going to the charts. Today we're going to be looking at all the charts in TradingView. So we always begin by looking at the E-mini and then we go to the VIX when we start looking at market predictions for the U.S. stock market. So here's the E-mini here. You could see we had a nice bullish run here. We kind of topped out, then consolidated, made a new high, and we're right at that point here. If you look at the closing prices, that's the major resistance right there. If you look at the high of the price, uh, the pivot high right there, that's the point right there. So you could see that we kind of bleeped one week here above it barely, but we could see that we never sat there and followed through this week at all. This week is a live bar, so this week's not over with at all. So look right now is that resistance is holding, but you never know really what's going to happen by the end of the week. Okay, and you could zoom in here and you could kind of see exactly what's going on here. So everything's still looking good for this to be bullish. Uh, this may be just a temporary reliever of a pullback before it sits there and breaks that resistance. But there's nothing here on the weekly showing you signs of weakness at all. Uh, you know, in fact, if you look here, we closed higher than this pivot high. So that is a little confirmation that we still have a high probability to keep on going up. Let's go to a four hour time frame, kind of look underneath the hood. Uh, of what's going on and the reason why is the four hours a high probability time frame is the bridge between the swing traders and the long-term traders and you could see here it's like one big mess uh, you could see here we kind of went above it here then came back down here and so forth so we're really not doing anything right now we had a bearish setup yesterday on the e-mini that did not hold at all as you could see here with this volatility spike right there and we're just kind of consolidating and doing really nothing right now at all and you could kind of see that the bottom of this consolidation pattern is roughly around here so let me kind of mark that off here for you guys and that's it so this is the zone right now that we are pretty much consolidating in so until we break these zones here and then get a setup there's really not much that's going to happen except to consolidate between here okay however the, we are still bullish consolidating we're still near the highs of the market so that basically at that point this is still a high probability to go up so I want everyone to make sure you understand that scenario there. Okay, so let me switch here real fast. So this is kind of what the charts look like now. I just reloaded it. Uh, but you could see here uh, that this is the resistance here and there's a support. We came here to that support, touch this resistance here. Now we're kind of bouncing off there and coming down. There's a, a multiple time frame resistance here that's holding right here at 29.22. As long as that resistance holds, we still have a high probability coming back to that 28.850. Okay, so we do have a high probability right now. And you can see this slowly, the markets are going down uh, to kind of get to that level right there. Okay, so let's go look at the VIX and see exactly what's happening with the VIX. So here's the VIX here. We've been talking about the VIX for years now. Uh, this is the zones we have. And remember, the VIX is an inverse relationship to the market. So if the VIX is going up, we're basically bearish. If the VIX is going down, the markets are bullish. Uh, we have two zones here. This top zone here from that resistance is support is the bearish zone. The bottom zone is basically the bullish zone here. And you could see here, we bounced off this support here very nicely. And at that point, that was the market high roughly around that there. Okay, we had a little divergence there, but still, uh, as you could see that we retested the high uh, last week. 
Uh, however, the VIX was off its support, so that kind of told you there was something going on because these two weren't in alignment. Uh, so that was one of the reasons why there was high probability that you're probably going to go for a pullback on the U.S. stock market here because the VIX was not at its support when the markets made an all-time high and kind of closed above that resistance from the past. Okay, so right now you could see that here this week is bar is still not closed yet. But we still have a high probability to come back into the middle of this zone, which is 1950. That means the markets are still bullish, but the closer we get to this level here, that means we're consolidating. So we look like we're going to get there. We're going to have alert here, and we also have alert on the support on basically E mini. If both of them by chance get this one gets to the resistance and that one gets the support at the same time, that's a perfect timing element to sit there and have a high probability of, of us bouncing off that support on the market and then going back to retest the high. If they don't do that at the same time, then we have to look at the charts and kind of see which one's leading indicator going into both. Okay, so keep a lookout on social media and we'll give you uh, chart updates going forward. Let's quickly look at gold and crude oil too. This is the range of gold right now and this has been like that for a couple of years now. So you can see baiting back to 2013. Uh, this is the consolidation pattern on long term for gold. You can see some bleeps outside there but really hasn't followed through and breaking out at all. Uh, after this bullish trend here, it's kind of just consolidating here. Major resistance is at 1334. We kind of held it here. We still had a high probability going up, but when this multiple time frame resistance occurred right there on March of this year, that kind of forced us to start coming down. There's a multiple time frame support here at 1224. Uh, and then there's one right here and so forth. So either way you got these multiple time frame support resistances in between this consolidation pattern. But right now this is just kind of squeezing together. You could see these pivot lows kind of coming up tighter and tighter and tighter. And so something's going to happen eventually gold here. Uh, you could see the resistance is being is staying constant, but the supports are being going up. So you kind of have a, like a little wedge situation that's starting to occur. The major support, as you could see, is at the bottom where I drew that there. Uh, but you could kind of see a little of a angle here of, of a tra it's kind of like a little squeeze here that's starting to happen here. Uh, that's going forward with time. You could see that the supports here are going up and the resistance is being uh, steady there. So this is a wedge pattern that's happening where it's consolidating tighter and tighter and tighter in this big consolidation pattern here. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly what happens here, uh, but we'll monitor this with time. But there's really not much movement there uh, due to the reward risk. Let's go look at crude oil. Here's a chart of the monthly chart for crude oil. Uh, you guys could see when was, price was going up, we had this marked as a resistance, which is 61.46. Uh, once it broke it here in March, the next resistance, which we were forecasting, was 66.51, which it pretty much hit that level right there in April and then kind of bounced off there. And now we still have a high probability to come back to that same support at 61.45. So that's high probability there. So let's go look a little lower time frames and kind of see what's going on. So there's a four hour time frame. Uh, you could see here when we got here, we we're overextended. That's what these red dots were. And you could kind of see that we were overextended and we actually put out on social media um, some, some trades or on the 30 minutes to bet on this instrument to kind of bouncing off that resistance there, which is long term and going down. And you could see those successful trades there on social media. You could see that it kind of plummeted down here, kind of stayed here in the base, kind of hung around, pulled back to these multiple time frame crosses right there, resistances held. Then we broke that level here and we're kind of just sitting there consolidating at this level here and you could see the volatility that's there. So there's a lot of volatility that's going on there. You could see you could see this movement here. But either way, there's a high probability of us coming down to that support right there at that level. Let's quickly look at the daily time frame. You can see from the daily time frame here, this big upward move that started happening in 2019. You could see that it was evolved with time, and you could see here we kind of came right back to the major support that we broke, held it, and now we're under gauging into a, pull, a major pullback. So we have a high probability that we're going to go for a major pullback. 
the key is is that if we will and if we won't we'll only engage in a major pullback if we get to this support level here so we got to wait and see what's going on there is a minor resistance level that's now developed and it's minor uh, but you're pretty much looking at roughly about right here is going to be the level right there so that's a minor resistance of 63 14. So as long as we hold out minor one, uh, we got a high probability coming down. But this is pretty much the consolidation range that we're looking at right now until crude oil decides to break out on one or the other. Uh, but it is bullish in nature. Uh, so we'll be looking for bullish trades once we get to the support here and it holds. If you guys have any questions, you could contact us here at eiicapital.com. Sorry, info at eiicapital.com. Have a good day.